to set the tone. Royalty watching on as well. And a huge day for UNICEF and all they work they do around the world. It really is a star-studded lineup assembled by that man. Former teammates, players he's competed in Champions League and World Cup matches against as well. All here to support a terrific cause. So Alex Ferguson meeting so many of his former players from Manchester United's past as well. There's one he tried to sign and failed. Ronaldinho. There weren't too many of those in his stewardship. Well, the Great Britain and Ireland squad assembled have 93 Premier League titles between them. Amongst those to start with David Beckham today are former Manchester United teammates Ryan Giggs, Paul Scholes, Nicky Buck, Phil Neville and Darren Fletcher. The Chelsea captain John Terry, who succeeded Beckham as England skipper, also starts. It will be the rest of the world. Picture book moment. Huge significance for the day. So many of the world's best players in the last two decades are here. The rest of the world party includes two finished by Carlo Ancelotti. Okay, the former strikers, Patrick Kluivert and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Two Champions League winners in their day. To begin proceedings at Old Trafford. A footballing feast. But there will be a competitive edge. We had Ryan Giggs. Another huge roar as he rewards down that left-hand side. The Manchester United assistant manager to Ashley Cole. Chance for the first Beckham cross of the day, which is cleared by his former Manchester United teammate Sylvester. And then Cafu back to dispossess Cole, and the first Scholes volley of the day goes over the crossbar. Well, he's got the technique to put that in the, in the back of the net. He's, uh, over the years, he's scored some wonderful goals, Paul Scholes, and it's been a great start to the game for the, the Great Britain and the uh, Island side. Beckham's had a lot of touches, it comes out to yell at the Scholes. Beckham. To Phil Neville. And the elder brother, of course, played down that right-hand side so many times. Manchester United with Beckham. Fletcher. Giggs with the cross. Over Crouch. It was Dan Fletcher coming in. A lovely little bit of skill there from Seedorf. And Figo. Even such a good cause can't prevent that. Footballing rivalry. Up trying to pick out Ashley Cole. He's up against Cafu. Two former Roma fullbacks, and Cafu has committed the foul. He did know Cafu, didn't he? Because Ashley Cole is still playing. So Cafu read it well and uh, a little bit harsh, but he's good to see it. Cafu assumes responsibility, and that needed tipping over. Uh, the former Manchester United goalkeeper Edwin van der Zaar. Well, you know, he's, he's always had quality in that right foot at uh, delivering crosses in dead ball situations. And it's still being taken by Sir Alex. Back in with the corner. John Terry got his head to it. Coming quickly at Giggs. No doubt as well that the Great Britain and Ireland team have two current, three current Premier League players in there. Starting 11. Lovely control by Beckham. Sylvester with the interception. And he's one of those current players, Darren Fletcher, now of course with West Bromwich Albion. Given away by Phil Neville. Run back by Fletcher. He scores. Set himself. You could see the intention. On that occasion, it didn't quite have the execution to beat Van der Zaar. Well, they're enjoying themselves at the minute. Great Britain and England team. To, um, it's cold here. He has got the ability, there's no doubt about that. But uh, Van der Sar. 
you just look at the rest of the world and they might be better off putting someone like Park who's playing left back in the midfield and bit of energy because he's pretty full. Center is Kaku at 45 as we mentioned. That was class that wasn't he? Brings it down, walks away. And... One lap by Bunn. Slipped into Beckham. He's managed to pick out Ryan Giggs. Crouch. But might fancy a go. Good save from Van der Zaar. Ashley Cole on the follow-up into the side netting. He's never been in now for his goal scorer, and obviously Ashley Cole. That was a good chance, wasn't it? Great Britain Island dominating the game, which you expect with the legs there, Nicky Butt. Good effort, another good save, Van der Sar tested this time low to his right. Ashley Cole. Certainly not dampening the enthusiasm though. The side flag is up, it's a fabulous ball from Ronaldinho. But the fans love the way he plays football. Beckham trying to find Crouch, who's onside. And denied by Van der Sar. Here comes Fletcher. Sylvester stops it on the line. Well, the rest of the world are living dangerously. But Phil Neville in an advanced position. He's going to have to keep it in. Beckham to cross it in. Skulls arriving! Well, that was like winding back the years. Beckham's cross. Skulls header. Seen that once or twice. And it's broken the deadlock with the first goal of the afternoon. And Paul Scholes finished it off. Well, it has been coming. Again, this right-hand side. Alex Ferguson sitting there with a smile, as you say, and how many times you saw that ball coming in from David Beckham over the years on this right-hand side. Wraps his foot round it. Scholes knows he's going to hit the spot. He just gambles onto the post, especially a club like Manchester United with Alex Ferguson in charge. So, uh, yeah, they want to win this game, then. Felt he was fouled by Sylvester. He uh, he's still looks very fit there. That's come to Figo. Locked inadvertently by Terry. If something comes of this, lifted in by Giggs. Good improvisation by Sylvester. Long challenge from Figo, and it needed to be. And there's the trick to Ronaldinho. Look one way past the other. Assisted Ashley Cole there. Kafu hasn't given it up. York goes down under the challenge of John Terry and yeah, Luigi Kalina says get up. Well, I can't believe that. The sport for choice. He's chosen gigs. And he went for goal himself. Wasted opportunity, good counter attack. Played by Scholes. Beckham's looking for Giggs, and he's found him, it's brilliant, Giggs, Crouch couldn't get that, neither could Fletcher, and the rest of the world survive. Play for Beckham again, it's... Seedorf. 39 now, Clarence Seedorf. Pick out Figo, then Ronaldinho. Rivert's onside. Played comfortably in the end by Carragher. Has probably had more touches of the ball than any other player at the moment. Yeah, he's just playing that role just off Peter Crouch, isn't he? Today he's got that license to stay higher at the field and uh, really been heavily involved in the best moments. Ooh, not that Even he's human. I see that too often who, over the years. Who probably saw it, thought it was a trick? I brought it down, but. Uh, Terrific block by Mikel Silvestre. It was. Again, Beckham has been heavily involved in most things Man United have done. Man United is certainly great Britain. But uh, Paul Scholes really could have been on a hatchet, couldn't he? Seedorf to pick out Cafu, who was unlucky. 
That was a lot better by the rest of the world, wasn't it? And, uh, <laughs> it was waving to the crowd. He's, uh, he, man, he's still got that energy, doesn't he? Look where he is, how high he's got up the field. It's Fletcher. Still has time to bring it down. And flash it over the bar. He's on a mission today, isn't he? He's got that role with the uh, number 10 role, really, so uh, he's enjoying himself. He could have had a hat trick so far. Crouch got the first touch, and then John Terry couldn't find the target. Typical centre half, isn't it? Unless it's on the head. Stay back. Once it's hit the ground, he might as well start running back. It's a good chance for John Terry. It's difficult, it's bounced high. He's trying to get over it. Great Britain and Ireland again with Ashley Cole. Three in the penalty area. Just too strong for the man of the moment. David Beckham arriving. It's his goal that most of the stadium. There's Park. Longino looked at those having a shirt pulled, then Figo! Almost. Well, it's the first bit of, well, good opportunity they've created the rest of the world, wasn't it? And uh, Ronaldinho has not really been on the ball up. Figo gives a 1-2. Great strength, great layoff. He doesn't blast it, he just tries to place it. Champions League with Real Madrid. Having, of course, infamously left Barcelona. Here's Figo. Is possessed by Fletcher. He's going to jump in, captain. He's square to Beckham. McAllister. A lovely touch, goals. He's shooting on site today. So right he is. That's not about six attempts he's had on goal, hasn't he? And um, again, we'll see best who gets to a distant time again with a block that comes along, a little link of play. And into was never a problem. In fact, Alex Ferguson said he got better with age. And here's Ronaldinho. Oh, what about that? Oh, it's a shame it won't count because the offside flag is up. But that was exquisite from Ronaldinho. Well, that's what you come to these games for. When his name's on the team sheet, you expect things like this. He gets a little bit of good fortune, but looking one way, look, he's, he's looking to the right. Unfortunately, Clive here, who just drifts offside. Look, he's, he gets a little bit of good fortune there. He was sort of a right back, right back wing back, or a um, right winger. He just did the whole right hand side. So, whoever played in front of him, this would be the dream because he's he gone up and down that pitch. Couldn't quite pull that one off, and it might still be a guy for us. Now there might be a break on for the rest of the world. Ronaldinho, beautifully done. Now Kyber taking on Carragher and going round Carragher. And then Terry came to Great Britain Island's rescue. That was quality by Kyber, wasn't it? Kyber, of course, who famously the back in 95. The winning goal in the Champions League final for Alex. Giggs trying to go all the way through. And the Tsar again, very alive to the situation. Figo on to his left. I think we're just coming to the game the rest of the world because you've got to say Great Britain and oh, Ireland have come off the pace. They'll be feeling the pace as we arrived. And we're done by Crouch. Beckham's encouraged to shoot. Still no golden goal on his golden day. And Seedorf. Ahead of Ronaldinho. Strange, isn't it? When Ronaldinho gets the ball, you just you don't want to pass it, do you? You just want to do tricks with it. Last minute of the first half. Here's Scholes. Trying to slide in Crouch, he's offside. Won't count. 
smart finish. And the flag was already up. Yes, he was offside. We've got a good view from up here. He's been sticks his flag off very quickly. Again, Paul Scholes. David Seaman, the former England and Arsenal goalkeeper. Now playing for Great Britain and Ireland. Looking to keep that clean sheet intact. Here's Sol Campbell. And his former England teammate. He has replaced John Terry. Always going to find him. It's cut out by Campbell. And Campbell and Ashley Cole continue their personal. Ronaldinho. And Davis ball didn't come off that time. And David Seaman goal. One of the treble winners in Manchester United's. 99 sees it. Vigo, this is patient from the rest of the world. Clyburn. So many bodies back there. Tidied up in the end by Darren Fletcher. And given away by the West Brom player. Pires. Find the curler. Well, the rest of the world have definitely covered it again. And uh, they're dominating the ball at the minute. Ronaldinho. First time touch to Figa. Ronaldinho is at it again. Now can he finish it off? Seaman got a touch and it was an important one. Well, the game now has really dropped its pace and it's suiting Ronaldinho. He's finding little holes, little pockets where he's picking the ball up. And uh, they're not closing him down as quick now. So he's starting to show all them skills which we've uh, seen over the years. It be the same result. Here comes Ronaldinho. Couldn't test Seaman on that occasion. <laughs> and the conversation continues. Five times for Manchester United. Most famously at that end against Manchester City. And he was close there. Yeah, it's good delivery and uh, good eye. Assessing the situation, David Beckham. He's looking for Scholes' his run. And then Owen. Michael Owen. 2 0. The former England teammates embrace. Michael Owen has a goal on his return to Old Trafford. And Great Britain and Ireland have doubled their advantage. I think Phil Neville would add word to David Beckham. He made a, what, a 60 yard run on the overlap. Wouldn't give him it. He picks goals up at the far post. It's a great pullback. A little bit of good fortune, Owen, but the finish eventually is a good finish. Just pops up there. It's a good volley. It's in it. So Campbell, right, you'll try to give it him back, Figo's still going. Terrific block from Ashley Cole, and it needed to be. Nearly a moment of magic from Figo. Sinclair. to feed Donovan, onside, back to Dwight York, 2-1, Dwight York, who scored 65 times for Manchester United, has the first goal of the day for the rest of the world, and they've managed to reduce the deficit for Carlo Ancelotti's team. What a very good goal as well, though, wasn't it? Great ball by him. This is a great pullback by Donovan. York puts him in. Do you think he's got to square it across the goal? Ronaldinho. The former England captain is going to get a standing ovation on his return to Old Trafford. I must to say, this tied legs out there at the moment. And here come the rest of the world with Ronaldinho. Tried to step inside Sol Campbell. There's no way he's ever going to shoot. He's got to make it look good. Well, it was still easy for him to run in the box and pull the trigger and score. So he's Sol Campbell knew that he could see his thing. He's going to do a trick on his ear. Donovan, a half-time substitute. 
Ronaldinho. Clive might have a shooting opportunity. Blocked by Cole and then a tired effort from Cafu. Well, he's not finished yet. Because David Beckham is coming back on. So Campbell is departing. Is there an end product? Can he cross it to his dad? He can. All oh, that practice almost came off. That was a good delivery. David Beckham. Kept in by Cole. Oh, Van der Haar. And Elwin is it. You never lose that coach's instinct. Mistake by Ray Van der Haar. And Michael Owen alive to the situation to get his second at the Stratford end and Great Britain and Ireland's third. Yeah, again, a lot of time on the ball. Comes across in the far post. Ashley Cole squares it. As you see here, he's got all the time, space, ball in and pushes it across. It's Raymond van der Hohler, this one. And uh, Mike Malone, as you said, skulls. Encouraged the shoot. He's gone for the chip. Almost a Paul Scholl special. Well, he tried it first half with Van der Sar, didn't he? He didn't get any luck. Van der Sar read it and caught it quite comfortably. But this time, looks like he is. He, he's a great disguise on it. It does look like he's going to put power in it. And he just dinks it. Well, we've seen some great entertainment and some terrific touches. There's the one more left. Ronaldinho. Seaman was beaten. Well, look at David Seaman looking at him as if to think, you're not going to do it again. You've had your, whatever years you've had on that last one. I don't want another one. But you're right, so we saw some, he has the quality he's got. He's always, you just don't know what he's going to do, Ronald, you know. And there's the final whistle. Terrific afternoon's entertainment. Sir Alex Ferguson's return to the dugout at Old Trafford is a winning one. Great Britain and Ireland, led by David Beckham, have won the game by three goals to one.